Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today I'm reviewing the Fix My Curls Leave-In Cream. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. All right, so let's get down to it. The Fix My Curls Leave-In Cream. It has jojoba oil and nigella sativa seed oil. This is a protein leave-in. Okay, so I'm not giving you a live demonstration of how I use the product because if you look at my upside down styling technique, you will see the product in action. You will also see the final results. Now, today I do not have this leave-in cream on my hair because protein moisture balance, sometimes my hair requires moisture. For this wash day, although today is not day one, for this wash day, I did not use this product. I used the moisture, the moisture variant leave-in cream of Fix My Curls. Uh, I should have a review on it coming pretty soon, but you'll have to wait for a bit until that video drops. Today, I want to only talk about this. Now, when it comes to leave-in creams, I'm gonna say something. This is not a theory. This is not established fact either. This is just the way in which I like to categorize and break up products. So, when you look at a leave-in cream, in the Indian market, of course, we have very limited options. But when we look at leave-in conditioners, leave-in creams, normal conditioners that you could potentially use as a leave-in, what we're going to do is we are going to categorize them from level 1 to level 6. Now again, I'm telling you this is not a theory. This is just the way in which I want to break things up so that it becomes really easy for me to recommend a product and so that it becomes really easy for you to choose one. Now, what do I mean by this? Imagine you have 2A hair and your hair is also low porosity. What is the weight of the product that would suit you most? I would say the lightest product possible available in the Indian market would be something that would suit you best because you have wavy hair, you have 2A hair, which means that your hair has a slight wave. You can't be using too much product because it is just gonna weigh your hair down, you're gonna have build up and it's not gonna be great for you. So in that case, I would say that let's choose a product or rather let's find a product in this journey that we're all taking together. Let us try to find a product that is like a level one. Now, without me trying the product, if I had to guess what would be like a level one, have you seen the new leave-in conditioners that Wow has come out with? So it's like a spray consistency. Hang on, I might have a conditioner like that at home. Give me a second, I'll just be back. All right, I'm back. This is just an old leave-in conditioner that I have. This is by Argan Oil. And it says it is their heat defense leave-in spray. It has Moroccan Argan Oil extract. Now, this is not CG friendly. This is a product that I have from many moons ago. I don't know how old this is. I'm not gonna use this on my hair because it has silicone. But if I just spray it, as you can see, this is quite light, it is quite non-sticky, it's quite watery. This would constitute as a level one, okay? Now, I'm not telling you to go and buy this product because this is not CG friendly, it has a silicone. But if you look at the WOW new leave-in conditioners, I haven't tried them yet, but if I had to guess, it looks like something that would come in a spray form. It would be pretty light and comparable to this product. As you can see, this is quite watery. I have not diluted the product or anything. So, let's say you had 2A hair and you had low porosity hair, then a leave-in conditioner like this. Again, I'm telling you, this is not CG friendly. Please don't go out and buy this. I don't think this is available in the Indian market. I think I bought this from the UK. But yeah, just to show you what the consistency would be like, this would constitute as a level one. When it comes to the Fix My Curls Leave-In Cream, this is a level 2 product, which means that it is quite light. Is it as light as this product? No, absolutely not. It's a little heavier, which is why I'm giving this the classification of 2. When I use this product, I noticed that I used, what, 6, 7 pumps of the product, but it was still pretty light. My hair looked very, very fluffy. 
could i do with the product can i use it as a leave in yes i can in the last video that i put up when i was demonstrating plopping someone left me a comment saying that hey your hair looks really nice today what did you use and i mentioned there that i used this product but to me i didn't like my hair so much because it was quite frizzy but then again that's a choice that you'll have to make do you like a product that is quite heavy and quite buttery and quite oily that gives you really nice definition or do you prefer really fluffy results if you prefer really fluffy results then a level 2 should be great for you i don't think any of you are new to cg some of you might have started your cg journey with me here but you've definitely used a few products you definitely used some leave in creams so you have an idea of what your hair likes and what your hair doesn't like if you notice that your products are making your hair look really nice and fluffy it's giving you some frizz but look volume means frizz because when you have frizz as you can see on this channel you've seen a lot of the times that my hair looks really big and really fluffy that is when i use like a lightweight product but when i use a heavier product i wouldn't say that my hair is weighed down hang on let me fluff it up and show you i haven't fluffed my hair at all today okay so this is my hair fluffed right so essentially when i'm fluffing what am i doing as you can see i've started to get some frizz in the crown area but that is because i fluffed you'll have to understand that volume means frizz frizz at the roots okay so this is my hair fluffed out but i'm using a heavier product than this obviously you have seen my hair with a lot of volume on this channel and every time i have a lot of volume it is because i'm using a lighter weight product so this is a level 2 as i try out more products on this channel i'll be able to give you a better idea of the different categories and the different levels let's talk about the products that i have already used so that we can compare you know that i like the wow conditioner this is the normal conditioner that i use as leave in it has organic virgin coconut oil and avocado oil i would say that this would be like 3 and a half to 4 because this is quite a heavy product so this is for sure a 3 and a half to 4 product now the kind of categorization that i'm talking about is let's look at products and categorize them from like 1 to 6 and what you need to ask yourself is are you high porosity are you low porosity are you medium porosity and does your hair fall under type 2 type 3 or type 4 now if you have type 4 hair and you have high porosity hair that means that high porosity hair likes to drink up product high porosity hair likes to have very heavy products now type 4 hair also enjoys very heavy products right but let's say you're a 2a high porosity and you're a 4c high porosity just because both of you are high porosity you're on both ends of the spectrum type 4 would obviously need heavier products than a type 2a right so just because you have high porosity or low porosity hair doesn't mean your hair is going to like a particular product you will need to consider your porosity and your curl type to understand what is the level of the product that you're looking for when i'm saying level i mean the weight of the product so this is a protein option i would say that this is a solid level 2 which means that this is quite a light product i can use 8 pumps of this product and i'm good but this leave-in cream is not going to last me the whole week when i use this product on day 1 my hair is going to look really nice and glossy after that since i have high porosity hair my hair is going to lose that moisture i'm going to have a lot of frizz i won't have any problem with my curl clumps i will not have any problems with the structure and the definition that this product gives me but the issues that i will start having with this product is that my hair will start frizzing up quite a bit and also it will be quite light for me so the hair gets fluffier and fluffier it gets more volume as the days go by but my hair will not look as nourished and as glossy as it looks like on day 1 especially for the first 6 hours if i use this product then my hair looks really nice but 
this product is not weighty enough for me to have nice moisturized glossy beautiful curls on day 1 day 2 day 3 day 4 right up till day 7 which means that my hair does not like a level 2 my hair prefers like a level 3 and a half to 4 so essentially what i'm trying to say is think of these products to be of a weightage of 1 to 6 and then after that as i review different products and i talk about what weight i feel the products are ask yourself have you used those products in the past and if they worked for you if they haven't worked for you if you feel like they don't give you great definition if you feel like they give you great volume but you're not happy with the results because they're quite light and your hair could take something that's much heavier now am i bashing the product no i'm not i'm not a firm believer in saying that hey this is trash or this is gold that is not the way it works at all in fact if a review tells you that something is good or something is bad it cannot be a blanket statement like that it is not as easy and as simple as that i've tried quite a few products now it is i'm coming close to my first year mark and because i'm doing youtube i try a lot of products i'm trying products constantly i'm constantly changing things up which is why my hair keeps looking different it is very difficult for me to say that my hair has gotten better with time because sometimes i feel like in the process of trying all of these products i'm going to have bad wash days or i'm going to have wash days that i don't like and that is definitely going to impede my progress If I wasn't doing YouTube, I probably would have just wanted to use one product because with each product there's a learning curve. You realize exactly how much you need, how many pumps of product you need to make your hair look really nice and glossy to make those results last, right? From day 1 to day 7. And I think I found my trifecta pretty early in my journey. But now that I'm trying different products and it's like a trial and error, it almost feels like going back to square one and then trying out these products some days i'll use less then i realize that hey i might have needed more and then i'll try more and then it takes me more time and it's like a whole thing so yeah if you go back to my very first video on my channel you will realize that my hair was far worse there and i've come a really long way but if i wasn't constantly trying different products and if i could just be allowed to stick to one product then i feel like every single week you would have seen my hair consistently getting better on a solid line going upward it would be like a straight line on a graph anyway the effort on my channel is always going to be to give you the right direction and guidance when it comes to picking products so what i need you to do is get one take home from this video i'm not saying that this product is good or i'm not saying that this product is bad all i'm trying to say is i have to be 2c hair now going towards 2c and my hair is high porosity which means that my hair definitely benefits from heavier products can i do with this product will i use this product in the future yes i will because on days when i'm looking for really great day one hair and i need my hair to look as fluffy as possible this would be my go to but would i use this if i want my results to last all through the week then probably no this would not be the product for me so ask yourself do you have low porosity hair do you have medium porosity hair in my opinion i think if you have medium porosity wavy hair then i feel like this would absolutely do for you if you have low porosity hair and you already have this at home then i would say definitely dilute this you can take a little bit of it you can put it into a spray bottle add some water dilute it try to make it into this kind of consistency into this like runny watery consistency and this would absolutely do for you because remember that your aim here when you're trying cg is to find two leave-in conditioners that work for you one protein variant and one moisture variant so if you have medium to low porosity hair if you have wavy hair and you're looking for a protein leave-in then i think that this would be sufficient for you if it is too heavy for you you can absolutely dilute it down put it into a spray bottle and use it as a leave-in okay so a few videos ago i floated the idea of me weighing out the product and showing you how much a pump of product would weigh and then you could eyeball it and ask yourself how many pumps of product you technically use so that you could calculate how long this bottle would last you that is exactly what i'm going to do today i have a little weighing scale i have a little container it's going to be really difficult to show you this 
I put it on the weighing scale, it says zero. Okay, so basically one pump of product is approximately two grams. This bottle has 250 grams of product and I typically use eight pumps of product every time I style with this product. 250 divided by 16 basically means that I can use this product 15 times before I run out of the bottle. In a month, I have four wash days, which means that I would take 3.75 months to finish this product, which means that this product would last me three months and three weeks. Now, obviously, every time I wash my hair, I'm not styling with a protein leave-in. I like to alternate depending on how my hair feels. So if I was using this half the time and I was pairing this up with another leave-in, which was, let's say, a moisture variant, then both the products together would last me more than half a year. So essentially in the year I'd have to buy two bottles of this and I'd have to buy two bottles of a moisture leave-in and use them in combination. And in that sense, I think it definitely justifies its price point. Now, is this product going to work for a girl with type 3 hair, let's say medium to high porosity? I don't think so, but if you have low porosity hair or if you have wavy hair that is not high porosity, I feel like this product would probably suit you if your hair likes level 2 products. Now, in this review, I also want to include my friend Amrapali steak because like I said, all these different products are gonna work very differently based on your hair texture. I have high porosity hair, I have 2B to 2C, but she has 3A hair and she has low to medium porosity. So it would be really nice to get a take. I had a conversation with her and this is what she had to say. All right, so I have my friend Amrapali here. Hi Amrapali, how are you doing? Hi Michelle, I'm good, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. So, Pali, tell us about your hair. Uh, well, my hair is a type 3A and I've just started CGM six months ago, thanks to you. And uh, that's about it. I mean, it's, it's going great. Uh, what would you say your hair porosity is? Uh, it's a uh, low to medium porosity. And what is your preferred styling technique like? Oh, Denman brush. Denman, Denman, Denman. Uh, upright Denman, yeah. Okay, all right. So which Denman brush do you use? Travel size, small one, right? Yes, yes, a small size five row. You remember I was having this little conversation with you and we spoke about like uh, the levels of, of weight of the products? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. in my list here, what I did was, I've categorized number one, which means the lowest weight of a product would be like the WOW water spray, the conditioner. Correct. Yeah. Uh, for number two, I've kept the Fix My Curls yellow bottle. For number three, I've kept Ashba and the Argan oil conditioner from WOW. Uh, 3.5, I would say, would be the WOW coconut and avocado conditioner. And also the Fix yeah. My Curls blue one. Yeah. You'd Correct. completely agree with all of this, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. I totally agree, yes. Given that you have low to medium porosity hair, what are the products that you like the best in the Indian market? Uh, I love the Wow uh, Argan Oil uh, Conditioner. That is like the best. Uh, I also like the Fix My Curls uh, yellow one. Yeah, these two work best on my hair. So basically, a level 2 and a level 3 is what your hair is good with? Correct, yeah. yeah. Okay. And in these six months, what have you learned and noticed about your hair? Uh, I learned that it cannot deal with uh, heavy oils, products that have a lot of uh, oils in them. It definitely does not like it, so it needs to be a little light. Uh, I can't keep touching my hair. That's one of the main things. Uh, and um, uh, pre-pooing with oil uh, is is something that my hair loves a lot. And if I miss it, then it just it just ruins my wash day. And yeah, these three things. Yeah. All right. And do you do you detangle in shower or do you detangle when you pre-poo and during the shower? 
Uh, when I pre poo, I detangle. Uh, yes, uh, it's a little. It was a little scary at the beginning, but now it's all good. Uh, so during shower uh, or after the shower, I don't need to detangle anymore because it's already done. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, um, I think I already asked you about what conditioner you use before the Fix My Curls Yellow Bottle, right? Yes. And you said that you like the Wow Argan Oil Conditioner. Yeah, and yeah. you use that That's as like a the best one. So, how much of the Wow Argan Oil Conditioner would you use while styling? Uh that's the best part because it lasts me for like months and months. I just have to use like one pump of it for my entire head. Uh but the fix my curls I need at least two pumps. Okay, all right. So, uh you've been doing CGM for 6 months and you said you just about finished your first bottle of conditioner, right? The Argan Oil. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah. use that as a conditioner in the shower and a leave-in, right? Yes, yes, yeah. Okay. Twice. All right. all right. So basically, six months you used one bottle of product. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Amrapali, tell us what did you think about the Fix My Curls Leave-In Conditioner, the yellow bottle? The uh, Fix My Curls yellow one works really well uh, on my hair uh, in terms of it. It keeps the curl clumps intact for uh, two three days, and because I wash my hair every four. for days it uh, pretty much keeps my hair in place uh it is not heavy so it doesn't weigh my curls down it gives the proper shrinkage as well and uh, in all it's 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 a pretty good product i would i would definitely want to use it again could you tell us a little bit about products that don't typically work for you uh what did not work at all my, which my hair it wasn't feeling good about the product at all was the blue one uh, i think there was it was a little too heavy uh, for my hair and uh, following to that was the arata cream that i had used uh, which did not really work that well either so okay all right so pali you said that you use the wow argan oil conditioner as conditioner and as leave in and you yeah. wash your hair once in 4 days and the conditioner lasted you 6 months and yeah, you yeah. used one pump of product while styling right while styling while right. styling yes so uh, and of the fix my curls you use two pumps you said yeah yeah for styling two pumps of the yellow one so i weighed uh, the product uh, like one pump of the product and i'll just read here You use two pumps of product, which makes it a total of four grams of product each time you style your hair. So the right. product should last you for sixty-two point five washes, and you wash your hair once in four days. That means yeah. that the product is going to last for a duration of two hundred and fifty calendar days, which means eight point three three months. Wow! But your hair will also keep growing, which means that the product that you need now on this length might change. So I think we can safely say that this product would also last you for about six months. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. In that case, it definitely justifies the price point, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it. I think it's one of the most affordable uh, brands that are available for the curly community right now in India. Okay. All right, Amrapali. Thanks so much for joining us. Your input really definitely does help, and I think it'll be really nice if you keep coming on here every time I try a new product. That way, we can compare the differences and results between your hair and my hair. Yeah, yeah, totally. Thank you so much for um, asking me these important questions because it's so difficult to find anybody to talk about your curly hair when you're especially starting off. So it's great to have somebody who actually knows what they are saying like you. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm uh, I mean, thanks a lot. Yeah, and thank you so much for joining us. Everybody say thank you to Pali in the description. Sorry, in the comments down below. <laughs> All right, bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, guys, that pretty much sums it up. 
these are my opinions and thoughts after using the product for a month i'm definitely going to make another updated video after a year of using this product because once i use this for a year i'm sure i'll have better opinions on it so you'll definitely find that video in my channel a year from now all right so that pretty much sums it up hopefully you gained some value from this video and if you did Please show me your support by giving this video a like and leaving me a comment. Things like this really help me grow and build this family. It also helps my video reach more people. So I would really, really appreciate your encouragement and your support. Leave me a like, leave me a comment. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Michelle and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.